This video demonstrates how concrete or steel cell phone towers can be strengthened in a fast and safe manner with the patented Pyomedic system developed by Professor Moesani. With increased use of mobile communication worldwide, cell phone towers are expected to support more antennas and heavier loads that exceed their original design capacity. This requires strengthening of the towers. In many cases, these towers are located in congested urban areas where the use of guy wires is not an acceptable support option. A compact strengthening system that can be performed in tight spaces is desirable. The technique we have developed allows us to model and analyze each tower based on various loads including wind, seismic, etc. Our engineers determine the degree of strengthening required at various locations along the height of the tower. In this sample graph, the red line shows the load or demand on the tower, while the blue line shows the strength of the tower after it has been retrofitted with the Pyomedic system. The particular tower shown in this video is a monopole structure located in a high seismic zone in Southern California. It is nearly 55 feet, or 17 meters, tall. The tower is made of a hollow spun precast concrete tube with a thickness of less than 2 inches, or 50 millimeters. Our analysis indicated that the entire tower height required tension reinforcement. In addition, the concrete wall for the lower half of the tower was too thin, requiring a thicker concrete to resist the load safely. As you watch this video, please pay attention to the tight available space and the numerous cables and conduits present that make the repairs challenging. Our solution consisted of the following steps. 1. 14 feet or 4.25 meters deep holes with a diameter of 1.25 inch or 32 millimeters were drilled into the foundation. Steel reinforcing bars were epoxy anchored into these holes and extended above the foundation. Such deep drilling is not common in all repairs, but it was required at this specific site. 2. One layer of quake wrap unidirectional carbon fabric saturated with quake bond epoxy was bonded in vertical bands to the entire height of the tower. 3. A second layer of the same carbon fabric was applied to the lower two thirds of the tower height. 4. The entire height of the tower was then wrapped with resin saturated glass fabric in horizontal bands. 5. Pyomedic jacket was used to create a reinforcing shell around the lower 4 feet or 1.2 meters height of the tower encasing the steel reinforcing bars. The 6 inch or 150 millimeter annular space was filled with an expansive non-shrink grout. 6. Several pyomedic jackets were used to create a shell with an annular space of 1.5 inches or 38 millimeters from the height of 4 feet or 1.2 meters to a height of 16 feet or 4.9 meters. This region was also filled with an expansive non-shrink grout. 7. As part of this repair, a number of existing cables and conduits that were attached to the tower were carefully moved slightly to accommodate the repairs. This did not require disconnecting any of these cables, allowing the tower to remain fully in service during the repair. These appurtenances were later pushed back to their original location. Field installation of this project was completed by FRP Construction, LLC Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to know more, please visit www.pilemedic.com.